Hi, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video I want to illustrate a bit how the new mobile ops feature in Mobile Strike works. It's basically a uh, small game inside Mobile Strike. If people are familiar with other titles like Game of War, you know that there you also have uh, a small game inside the Explorer Dungeon and a lot of similar games actually have these kind of uh, games as well and it's 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 very similar to those it's a it's a maze game where you can get some goodies and in the end you can get your some benefits from your main account the icon here is for the mobile ops I will first uh, go to the uh, armory that I have here to look at the a new gear set that is introduced that is uh, beneficial for playing this mobile ops game actually it's only use uh, usefulness is there it doesn't have any usefulness outside of that so that's the tank commander uh, set gear it is a, yeah, it's a official set it has also a set uh, bonus for that you get uh, a number of stats that are important in the game like uh, health points your uh, armor your munition capacity the attack speed ability to deflect uh, damage, evasive maneuvers and so on so if you are a spender and uh, you like the game it's uh, probably worthwhile to get this uh, set gear and equip it before uh, playing this game so let's, uh, let's go back to that uh, building the mobile ops building so if you uh, open it you have uh, some options you can go to the tank zone that's the actual game you can go to the uh, stat shop where you can uh, spend the credits that you can acquire in the game uh, in exchange for some boosts and you can do you can go to the mobile ops research where you can do some uh, some research we will get into those other two categories later first we'll have a look at the, the game so we go to the tank zone what is an important uh, aspect of this uh, game is the is the moves. So currently the maximum move is 25, and my bar is fully recharged, so I have 25 uh, moves. No need to do anything else. If you uh, haven't wait, if you don't want to wait before your moves fully recharged after you have played the game, you might want to use some items that you have to increase the moves again. Those cannot be increased during the game just before you start a game but now uh, there's no sense in using this get more button because uh, I, I can never start with more than the, the maximum another thing you can do before is to switch the special weapon you are using currently I haven't unlocked anything else we will look later at the research and you can unlock various uh, other weapons and increase the damage those weapons uh, do but uh, I, I haven't done anything yet so I'm just going to um, had to do it with the standard uh, weapon each level that you unlock you can actually go to a new level I now replay the first level that I played replaying uh, yeah, means you still start again with, uh, with another uh, maze I don't know where you are so let's explain the screen first so with the at the left up here you see the amount of moves you still have here you see uh, the amount of tanks and the amount of uh, uh, caches or chests that are in this uh, field so that uh, the amount of goodies that you can require the bars here are the, yeah, the damage that you have and the munition that you still uh, have so when you're hit the damage bar goes down when you shoot the munition bar goes down at least when you use your special weapon so here next to that you have your uh, yeah, capacity for carrying things so currently I have uh, five slots and zero of those five are uh, used and at the top here what will be filled in later is, uh, is is the maze it is a four by four maze and this icon indicates where you are so currently we only have explored the field where we are in so there are no other fields yet but when we start moving around you will see that this will also be filled up and we have those two buttons here that you can use to replenish your 
uh, munition and uh, or the repair your damage if you have the necessary items. So if you look on the on the map, you have uh, you see arrows here and here. That means those are the directions that I can uh, go. Uh, we're just going to push on one of those uh, arrows and see what happens. So here we encounter a tank. That does not happen in every room. If I don't do anything special, I don't use any of my missile munitions, so my tank just uh, shoots its normal weapon. You see my munition bar does not go down, and I can still kill it quite easily, so uh, we are still in the first level. So we get this crate that I open. So these are one of the prizes, is Mobile Ops Restricted Files, which is actually quite nice because it allows you to do some research as well. I'm definitely going to take that. And as you can see here, now we have another room explored in our maze. We did get some hits, so our damage bar went uh, down. So in this game, whether you go to a new room or to an unexplored room, you will see that always uh, one move is uh, deducted. So that's uh, something to keep in mind as well. So we open this. Uh, I'm going to pick them up, but uh, at this stage I have plenty of regular research files, so if I'm going to find something better, I will definitely exchange that later, which can easily be done. So that's no, uh, no problem. So you can grab up something again. The thing here is, and I will show you, if you take things the same amount of, uh, of the same item, it will still occupy separate slots. So we have now two slots with each 95 of these mobile ops research uh, files. It's a bit annoying, it uh, really limits the amount of stuff you can get, so it's definitely worthwhile to unlock more uh, slots. I haven't done that uh, yet. But yeah, that's, uh, I would say it's a bit of a pity that they set it up in this uh, way. Another tank that we encounter, oh, I will just now use one missile to also show that. So then we can destroy it with one uh, shot. I like the mobile ops research files. I'm not really a spender, so uh, if I can get these things in any other way, that's always uh, great. Uh, where shall I go? Let's go continue. So uh, we have already more or less reached the end. Uh, meaning uh, that uh, it is a 4x4 four four map, so we have explored now already to the left four positions. So probably we can only go up, but not in this screen. Mumble Ops credits are interesting as well. So I, now the capacity is already full. If I get something more that is interesting, then I'm definitely going to exchange that. Pause incoming. So each uh, room is actually uh, as a mission objective. I start a battle, need to tap, and I will shoot some missile. This is a bit harder. I didn't mention that, but above you see actually a damage bar for the for the tank. Um, so how much damage you still need to uh, to do. So we've beaten the boss. So 100, uh, 1,000, I should say, mobile ops credits, and definitely I'm now saying bye-bye to those 12 research files, and instead say, okay, I want to pick up those 1,000 mobile ops credits, still doesn't maybe amount to much. I still have 8 moves, which is, oh no, no, it's not going to be enough, sorry, I thought I could go there quickly, it's not going to be enough to explore the other room, so I will just go out. The mission objective is here, and I will exit this uh, zone, and at the moment when I do that I get my, uh, my goodies that I have collected. So those are some credits and the mobile ops research, uh, mobile ops restricted files. I always say research files, but should actually be mobile ops restricted files. So once you have done this, well actually I had already played it, but now the level 2 is unlocked and once you have done level 2 then level 3 will be unlocked and so on. So the cooldown timer is actually not that much, so 
that is uh, nice, I could play it quite soon again. So this is the game, you can just play it many times to collect uh, stuff. So let's go to the, the stat shop, because in the end what you're only doing it for, what is the link with the, the actual Mobile Strike game, is that you can get incredible boosts for this. Uh, so there are quite some categories, and you can get up to like 1500 here uh, of the of infantry defense with your commander, tactical defense, and then health, uh, even up to 2000, and attack up to 50,000. So the numbers are quite incredible, but they are so are they in some other categories uh, that have been uh, introduced lately. The boosts really increase a lot. Uh, but what is one of the problems is that all of them you need to unlock and you need to unlock them per 10 levels and this uh, uh, Yeah, it's a bit misleading you see here 0 out of 10 But once you reach 10 you don't reach 1500 yet only you reach 1500 once you have reached uh, one Level 100 and I'm quite sure that will require a huge amount of credits although we cannot see that here yet Perhaps someone, uh, so someone else has already maxed out some of those categories and can share that. Um, so, but all of these need to be unlocked for each 10 levels by the research. Uh, so the boosts you can get are huge, but you need to do research and you need to play the game. So let's now have a look at the research. So it's actually quite a large tree. I think there are like 50 projects or something so they can be divided in several categories we have a lot of uh, projects that are like this uh, those three that we see here that unlock uh, a certain category in the stats shop this one was already unlocked I didn't do this research these two projects as well as the, the dragon and this infantry defense were already uh, done so that you have one, mis one missile weapon and you have this one uh, category where you can assign points to but the others and there are uh, quite some that unlock other categories and just to have a look at it uh, if you look at the information then you see what I said earlier that you actually need to research 10 levels to fully unlock all 100 levels and only if you reach that then you can go up to 1500 and yeah it's not there's uh, like in other things with mobile strike many things that there's actually uh, it's not that uh, with each uh, level you get one tenth of the total bonus now you see that actually in the end the, the jump is quite high it gets higher and higher as uh, you progress to a higher level so it's definitely in the end very much worthwhile if you're going for this you really need to go for those max levels to really make the, uh, the most out of it stopping Halfway gives you only a 144% boost, and that's just not really that much. These, uh, yeah, this stage of the game. Okay, that's one category. Another is this M47 Dragon, and I think there are four other uh, weapons like that, um, like this Javelin uh, missile, and and yeah, there are a couple of other ones down there. So if you unlock those, you will get better missile weapons that you can use as your special weapons in the in the game uh, so they and then yeah unlock them and increase the damage they do so that's quite nice as well all the other um, all the other projects are basically somehow improving the, the game for you and it can be very different from increasing the maximum amount of moves that you have to the uh, to the HP to the attack uh, I mean all, all kind of stats can be improved in the game so that's going to be quite useful as well to do that uh, research and I'm sure there are going to be difficult levels that you need to do the research and or have the correct uh, uh, the, the tank commander gear set to be able to uh, complete uh, them so this is uh, this is basically it. What I like about this feature is uh, I'm, I'm not a big spender. I spent some money on this game, but not a lot of money. And uh, and there have been have been in the past, especially in the past half a year, have been a lot of features that were introduced that were just uh, not uh, available at all for 
uh, non-spenders or for uh, low spenders even if you spend money sometimes uh, next month there are new features released that you cannot use it doesn't matter how much money you spent in the past so that's that's kind of annoying and, and the nice thing of this game is definitely that it is open for non-spenders so at least you can play around with it experience it a bit and then yeah, maybe decide okay do you want to spend uh, money on this because yeah, for sure I expect that to reach those large bonuses you need to spend money on this to do the the research uh, first but but you you can experience uh, the game first that's de definitely uh, very nice and it, it's a it's a useful addition but they also have done well I think compared to some other games the link between the mobile ops small game inside mobile strike with mobile strike is is very clear you you do it for those boosts and those boots boosts are really huge uh, sometimes uh, I have the feeling that these small games inside the bigger games are really yeah, they, they, they miss the link, they miss the relevance for the real game but here it is, uh, it's very clear you can get very significant uh, boost so that's also uh, very nice of this game so all in all I'm, uh, I'm happy with this new uh, edition I uh, recommend uh, all of you guys to at least uh, have a look at it and play around uh, with it and see the, whether you can benefit from it and whether you, uh, you like it hey thanks for watching this uh, video if you have any comments or questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section.